Hi everyone, how's everybody doing? I hope you guys are healthy and safe with your family and if you have a family member or yourself that is considered an essential worker, prayers to you. Thank you guys so much and I mean it's so hard. It's practically sacrificing your life and your health for your job and it's much appreciated by the whole country and the whole world but today I wanted to do a DIY video and I challenged myself to try to do one with using only items that I already have in my stash in my collection so without me having to go out to Dollar Tree or Walmart or any other craft store to purchase any extra items so i wanted to do this video to motivate you if you are getting a little depressed or anxious and if you want to do something more you know just look through your items and kind of use your brain sorry i got interrupted by my son so yeah so use your brain to brainstorm and think of what you can make please do not go out if it's not necessary I know this may be hard for some people, but it's really important for you to stay home, okay? Um, so I had bought a or purchased a bag at Walmart. It's an Easter uh, gift bag from this year, and it has a really cute, you've probably seen it, it has a really nice um, truck, and I knew... That I wanted to do a DIY or use it for something. It only cost 98 cents. So I thought this was a good opportunity for me to do that. And I just used a box. And this box was from a wholesale Costco uh, purchase. It had four of the Tropicana orange juices. I mean it doesn't really matter. But um, that box it was really sturdy. So I had kept it. And... You guys are going to see probably by thumbnail that um, what I did. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will stop yapping. And let's get on with this video. Okay, so this is the Walmart gift bag that I will be using. It did cost $0.98 cents at Walmart. And it is double-sided. I think I will be using this truck on this side since it's already creased. But I just love the border of it. And I just wanted to show you two paintings that I made. This one says he is risen. And I made this one with the cute bunny. So I did one more of a Christian pathway. And then I did one more of a spring bunny. And painting really helps with my anxiety. So just some recommendations and it's pretty basic so I just wanted to show you that of course you can just crop this whole front side and then put it inside a frame and that would look really cute so I just wanted to show you that of course you can do it this way so this is the box that I was telling you guys again it's a white box from some wholesale Tropicana juices that uh, I had purchased so it's just plain white but I was thinking I wanted to do kind of like a farmhouse crate type of thing so I'm gonna cut out the truck from the bag first so again I will be using the one on this side because it's already creased and I can use the other side if I do want to put it in a frame I also went along and cut out four of these um, cardboards. They were white as well. So I just had them. I had another uh, box. I think it was like a McDonald's bundle box. So I just cut it off of there because it was already white. And it saves me the time of painting it white. So here's I'm trying to show you what I'm thinking of doing. And I just think that it gives it that farmhouse crate type of look so again um it depending on the box that you have um you measure it and then you make four of those so i do have some white chalk paint 
So I just grabbed some paints that I thought I might use. I didn't necessarily use these colors, but if you're wondering, the dark brown is coffee bean and the light brown is called classic caramel. I also have white and the gray is called dolphin gray and of course I have black and these are a dollar or even less at Walmart. So some of you guys are probably thinking why am I going to use white if the cardboard is already white and the reason for that is that it kind of gives me a, a base I would say and it also helps with the blending of any color I put on top so and especially me since I'm gonna do the distressing that I want to do it really helps so I'm just going to lightly put a coat of white on the sides that I will be using the back side of the box I won't be doing anything today but of course I can do it in the future but if you put it on a table for decor you won't see the back side of it but this is what I'm gonna do now next I will be grabbing some of that dolphin gray color paint and using it on the edges of the box to emphasize and define the edges also to give it a little more of a distressed look this is a very light gray and i just really liked how this came out so as you can see when my paintbrush doesn't have any more paint i like to blend it out like for instance right here and because the paintbrush is kind of dry it gives it kind of that i would say like a raked look like if like kind of like i don't know how to describe it but it just doesn't look like a like a long single streak but instead it's kind of like small little ones hopefully you understand what i'm trying to say so again here i'm doing the same thing on the sides So before distressing the four little cardboard strips that I have, I want to cut the excess off. So I'm kind of putting it up to the cardboard and kind of pushing it to make a little crease so I can know where to cut it. So that's what I'm going to do. So now that I cut all four strips, I'm going to start distressing the cardboard strips the same way I did with the box with some of that dolphin gray. And I did go along and do the other two off camera to save time. So now grabbing some of that black, as you can see, this cardboard box has some of these slits on the edges. So I will be using those as point of reference as to where I want to place my fake uh, wood lines or wood plank lines. So I am doing it on every third slit. So now with a very small detailed paintbrush, and lightly grabbing some of that black i'm going to start defining the very edges of the box 
so as you can see now that the gray is there it kind of looks really nice so this is what I'm going to do and I will try to speed this process up And here I am just showing you that I use this very long sticker packet to help me do my line kind of straight because I couldn't find my ruler but it worked out really well. So for my preference I didn't do the line very defined and straight because of course wood isn't perfect it isn't like a straight line so here i'm just grabbing some of that gray and going under the black line to blend it out and give it more definition as well and now we're going to do the sides with the same technique putting some of that black and then blending with the gray a little more Next, I'm going to hot glue the little strips to the sides of the box and I'm going to do it off camera to make it a little faster. So this is how this looks. So now I'm going to put that truck right here and it's the perfect size and I actually like that the flower and the plants on top kind of goes over the edge but as you can see it kind of blends in or isn't that defined on that crate so i'm going to grab some of that black paint and here i do mean to be a little more neat just because i like how that looks the cleanliness of the truck so gently and very carefully i am going to outline the truck to give it more emphasis And with the power of the camera, boom, you see what difference it makes and it really does emphasize everything. So I loved how that came out. So I hot glued this onto my box and if I had some popsicle sticks or something, perhaps I might have made it kind of more of like a pop-up look. But again, this is using items that I have at home and I didn't want to have to go out to buy more craft supplies. That was the challenge that I proposed to myself, but I do love how it came out. So now I'm going to do that distressing with the black paint on the sides to give it more of a shadow and depth. And we are done guys i am so happy with the outcome i think the gray and the black match perfectly with the truck and here's just a suggestion you can put a phrase for instance if your box is bigger than mine as you can see i don't have much space but you can put any saying like home or blessed or take me away you can also use some regular stickers for that or some wood chip letter like these some floral stickers that you have or some vinyl stickers if you have a Cricut machine the back side of this I will be using for another DIY and also you could have um, cut off that Easter eggs and flowers off of the back of the truck if you wanted to have more a of a neutral year-round type of look that's definitely a possibility here I am just showing you some of my Dollar tree flowers inside of course i would put a floral foam and they would be standing straight up but this is just for the video purposes and here are just some of the pictures thank you guys so much for watching i am so happy that you were able to be with me in this project 
subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I will see you guys in my next video. Stay home. Stay safe. Love you guys. Bye.